Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm in Chalfons and Peter today. Chalfons and Peter is a large village in Buckinghamshire and I'm just standing in the churchyard by the village centre. And what we're going to do today, I discovered they have these plaques all around Chalfont St Peter and it's a trail you can do, you can follow them and if you go in the library you can pick up this leaflet which tells you about each plaque and there's a little map inside and um, so you can see each plaque and there's a picture of how something used to look and then you you know as you are here today you see it as it is now so it's a bit like looking at a past and present book but um, you really are here in the present and you get to see the past. So we've just walked through the parish churchyard. There'll be a bit more on the church later and we come out into the car park and we're going to go and find plaque number one, which is at the, um, the middle school. So I'm going to walk across here. I can't see it yet, but I'll just show it to you. So what we'll do is we'll have a look at each plaque and then we can see, you know, try and imagine how it would look. So what is now the village car park. This was all once um, a larger part of a graveyard and I believe there were sort of more meadows and there wasn't, you know, all these houses here. Um, the actual village would have been, like I said, over there by the church where some of it still is, but it's this village has grown a lot and a lot of the village has been rebuilt and um, it really has changed. But, you know, we're going to look at some of those changes as we do the video. So come up here, there is the school um, and here's the first plaque. Now what's quite interesting is, um, well I'll let you have a look at the plaque. Is that the picture they show you isn't the building you see here. It's actually the building behind which is harder to see from here but there was once two school buildings one was probably for boys and one was for girls and they filled it in in the middle so what the plaque shows is the building behind we're now going to walk on and find the next one so we just come along church lane from where the school was the school's back there that building site by the way they're building a new baptist church and um, i'll show you the one it's going to replace later on so we get to here just over there is the high street which we'll talk about more in a minute this is the marketplace now while there's no cars i'm going to run across talk more about the marketplace well now because i'm going to show you the second plaque this one here so it shows the marketplace when it was brand new it was formerly called gold hill lane it was all allotments up there and as the village grew in the 1920s they built this parade of shops i believe there's an identical parade in ryslip in the um, london borough of hillingdon and um, there's some newer shops here there was a cinema there but we'll get onto that plaque later and just here in front of chalfont home and hobby store there was an octagonal block of public toilets which is long gone so we now will head up the marketplace there's a couple more plaques here on this more modern building here this currently houses the co-op now if you look here at this plaque it shows gold hill lane which is now marketplace so you can see the difference in how it's been transformed in the 1920s to a parade of shops now if you have a look here this is the Fairfork Cars, a car company, Fairfork. They actually used to build cars here in Chalfont St Peter on the site of where this supermarket is. And um, then we turn around one more time looking that way. You can see looking back down towards the high street, you can see just how much um, or how narrow the road was, just how much it's widened. So this building, well, they've all gone actually, all the buildings you see in there. We're now going to carry on walking up to the top of Chalfont St Peter. It's, so I said it used to be called Gold Hill Lane. It's now in the marketplace. The reason it's called Gold Hill Lane is because it goes to Gold Hill and that's where we're going now. So we've now come up marketplace, formerly Gold Hill Lane. Now the reason it's called Gold Hill Lane is because over there, that is the Gold Hill. That's Gold Hill Common and it's that bit in the foreground or the background rather, which is known as the Gold Hill. Whenever it snows, 
people come from miles around to go sledging there because it's um, one of the best hills in the area. So as we walk along here, we've now come down Hampden Road. We are going to go back to Gold Hill Common, but I've got one more plaque to show you along here. This road, Churchfield Road, that's the road that goes along the back of the shops. Um, so, you know, well, you can access the backs of the shops. This one here, this is called Hamden House, which I think is rather amusing because uh, further up in the Chilterns in Buckinghamshire, there is a big stately home called Hamden House. But here we are, here's a Hamden House in Chalfont St Peter. Now, as we come to here, this is the Chalfont St Peter Hospital. There's a beautiful tulip tree. That tree there is a tulip tree. I'll explain why it's called a tulip tree in a minute. It's nothing to do with tulips, the flower. So as we come up to the old dovecot at the hospital, this was a cottage hospital. It is still a hospital. It's not a big hospital, but you know, it, it's a hospital. I don't know too much about hospitals, but what I'm saying is it's not one of those massive ones. So I'm gonna show you this plaque here. So the hospital opened in 1871, home of the Hibbert family. Um, so they provided the hospital for Chalfont St Peter. Now the reason this tree here is called a tulip tree, it's nothing to do with tulips at all, it's the shape of the leaf. Have a look at that leaf. It is the shape of a tulip flower. Let's point it up, see what I mean? That's why they call it the tulip tree. Anyway, I'm now gonna go back to Gold Hill Common and um, show you some more of the plaques up there. So as I head up towards Gold Hill, there's not a plaque on this one, but I wanted to show it to you anyway. This is the coronation clock. It was put here in 1953 to commemorate the Queen's coronation. I'm now gonna take you up to the top of Gold Hill Common, where we're gonna find our next plaques. So here we are at the top of Gold Hill Common now. This is a large triangular piece of land in Chalfont St Peter called a common because it would have once been grazed by cattle and various animals and if you talk to some of the elderly residents of the village some of them can remember seeing it when it was all you know when it, when you would have seen cattle grazing on the common so it's really quite a pleasant part of the village we've got the houses along there and um, we're just heading up to here towards the Baptist Church now I said earlier on when we were down in Church Lane that the building site was a new Baptist church. That's the church it's going to replace. The congregation has grown so they're moving to a larger site. So I'm not actually sure what's going to happen with the, that church building. I'd like to think um, you know it'll be um, kept for something and you know maybe converted into apartments um, but it'd be a shame to knock it down because I think Gold Hill Common wouldn't be the same without the church dominating the scene. But as the next plaque's gonna tell us, it's not the original church on that site. There's been one before. So if we come to this bus stop here, here we have the plaque. Now that plaque, that shows the original church. Now from looking at it, looking at the cottages, I think the original church was about there where those houses, the ones painted white were. It opened in 1792, and then it was replaced by its current building in 1870. And it looks like at some point, probably in 2021, it should be replaced by the new building in the village. Now, there's a pub here, Jolly Farmer. Had a lot of drinks in there when I was younger, and that is where we should find our next plaque. So, just gotta get across the road. It's starting to rain as well. Right, yeah, across the road. So here's Jolly Farmer. The next plaque is just on the corner. So there is Gold Hill Baptist Church, which like I said, it's having its replacement built down in the village. Oh, here we are, look here in the bushes. Here is the Jolly Farmer plaque. So you can see there was once a smaller pub building there. It's been replaced by the much larger one that's there today. That gable end's still there. I should show that to you now. It's just there. Now what we're going to do, there's one more plaque up on Gold Hill Common. So if we walk back towards the Baptist Church, I shall show you the final plaque up here. And then I shall end part one up here on Gold Hill Common 
in part two, what we'll do is I'll show you more of the village centre and um, we'll just carry on till we've been round, round all of them. So there's quite a few to see, but it, it, I just like how, you know, it gives us this opportunity to, you know, imagine how somewhere would have been you know before it is now sometimes it can be quite hard it's not not so hard up here because um apart from you know things like modern cars and um double glazed windows hasn't really changed too much um but you know you don't get cows on the common you get dogs being walked on the common which you know is perfectly fine that's how things evolve but when we get down into the main part of the village things have changed a lot so you know that's where these plaques really come into their own that we can really you know try and imagine just how Chalfont St Peter would have looked and um, you know you, you get I, I quite like looking at past and present books on railways and other things and whenever I go to these towns and cities and villages I do like to um, you know imagine how things were um, if you've seen some of my videos where I explore old railway lines, you know, it's a bit like doing that really, except we're not doing it with railways. There's no railways in Chalfont St Peter, by the way. The nearest railway line is at Giles Cross. Although there is a railway station with the name Chalfont, Chalfont Latimer, on the Metropolitan Line, um, and also served by Chilton Railways. So, um, but Giles Cross is actually the nearest railway station to here. So, here we come to the final plaque of part one, Gold Hill Pond. So it seems hard to believe, but there was a pond here. I don't know why it was filled in, but it was obviously there in the 1920s. If anyone knows why it was filled in, and those cottages over there, they are still called the pond cottages. So um, just looking at the trees, are they the same ones? I'm not sure. It looks like a horse chestnut there. We have got some, or at least one horse chestnut there. I think though, well, it's clearly it's not the same one. It obviously, actually I can just see over there, I won't walk over it, but I can just see the stump of a much larger tree. So that must be the tree in the picture. What I thought I'd do though, before we end the video, um, as soon as I've pointed out the actual hill that is known as Gold Hill, I thought we'll um, end there because you get quite a nice view of Chance and Peter. So back onto the main bulk of Gold Hill Common. This section of the common, you kind of got the road going through it, heading down towards here. You've got the woodlands over there. I used to play in those woods a lot as a child. And, um, you know, it's, it's somewhere I've sort of grown up. I've known this area all my life. In fact, the, going back to the pub over there, the Jolly Farmer, when I was first old enough to have a drink, it was called the Village Hall. I remember I thought it was a funny name for a pub because I remember thinking people might not go there because they might actually think it is the Village Hall, but it didn't seem to affect its custom. In fact, it was always very busy when I went in there. And then in 2016, it reverted to its original name, the Jolly Farmer. So as we come to here, this is the Gold Hill. And you can sort of see why because it kind of is almost sort of golden and this is where lots and lots of people go sledging when it snows it's one of the best hills around for sledging so i'm gonna leave you with a view over champs and peter walk back down to the center and that's where we should do part two